watching Let's Chat. Welcome back, everyone. There are so many children right here in the Tennessee Valley that miss going to the Creative Discovery Museum. It's been closed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. And joining us now is Kirsten Hill. She is the Creative Discovery Museum's Communication Director to tell us more about some at-home initiatives for children in the Tennessee Valley. Good morning, Kirsten. Good morning. I wish I could be there in person, but this has been X Festing. I know. We miss seeing you guys. Tell yeah. us a little bit about what you all are doing right now as far as the at home initiatives for children. So, you know, when we closed, we announced to the public we were closing on March 13th. Um, and soon after that, we were finding ways to continue our mission of inspiring all children to explore, innovate, create, and play. And we wanted to continue to be an educational resource for children and families during this time. So we've launched a variety of programs, one of which is Creativity TV. It's an online video series that you can find on our YouTube page. We basically bring all of our activities that you could find at the museum to your home, and most of which you could do, follow along with us because they are using materials you probably have in your house, maybe except for our science demonstrations, unless you might have some liquid nitro nitrogen hanging around, um, but I definitely don't. But they are real. it's a really great way to stay engaged a uh, really great way to keep the kids creative and thinking outside of their schoolwork. Um, so that's been a really fun program that we've started. I know that you all are hoping that you can open sometime this summer um, between the aquarium and the Creative Discovery Museum. We know that Rock City has recently announced they're going to start reopening as time goes on. What are your thoughts moving forward about the future of the Creative Discovery Museum this summer? So we're hopeful and um, we're in the planning phase right now. So we want to do this as safe as possible. Um, and that takes a lot of thought, obviously. So we're really, really doing a lot of research. We're talking to local pediatricians in our community, relying on the health department and local government for guidance, and also talking to other industry leaders across the country to kind of get a better idea of what reopening children's museums is going to look like in the future. Um, you know, our camps are canceled for June. We're developing virtual camps for June, so stay tuned for more information on that. But we are hopeful we'll be able to relaunch our in-person camps in July. Um, and so an opening plan hopefully will be put together and ready for everybody to hear about in the next few weeks. So we're, we're very much looking forward to having people back in our building. And I know that there are folks right out there, including my children, who really enjoy coming there, and they'll be ready when it opens. So let's talk a little bit about membership promotion right now. What's going yeah. on with that? Oh my gosh, we have a great membership promotion right now. So whenever you buy or renew your membership in the month of May, we will donate one to the American Red Cross in Tennessee or the Hamilton County, County um, Emergency Response. And so the American Red Cross will distribute, distribute it to a family in need. And then the Hamilton County Emergency Response will distribute it to a first responder family. And then those families can come into the museum and play for free for a year. So, you know, we've just been trying to come up with ways to support our community as best as we possibly can. Um, and we thought that was a really great way to do that. So we're very excited about that promotion. Absolutely, thank you for helping the community during this difficult time. Again, if folks would like to purchase those memberships, how do they do it, Kirsten? Head to our website, you can find all of our at-home initiatives. There are so many more than more than the ones I just mentioned or mentioned. Um, so head to our website at cdmfun.org and you can find all the information right there. Thank you, Kirsten, for joining us this Thanks. morning. I miss seeing you here in the studio, yeah. all the experiments, all of the information that you have for children out there. You all do so much for our community. Hopefully, we will we'll get a chance soon. to see you soon. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Thank you.